So you've probably seen the opening clip here on this video and you're thinking, why is Peter showing me a toaster? And uh, there's a story behind it, but let me explain it to you. If you want instant access to new videos as they're uploaded, then please click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to comment on the videos. And if you're interested in learning more about Betangel, visit betangel.com today and download a free trial. So yeah, I was trying to explain to somebody the other day about uh, trading experience. And we, I was talking to him about a trade that he was trying to do. And I was trading uh, right here in the office and he was in front of me. And no matter how much I talked him through, he still wasn't quite getting it. He was just ever so slightly out on what he was attempting to do. And he sort of held his head in his hands and he goes, oh my God, I'm never going to be able to do this. And I sort of said, well, yes, you can. It's just a question of practice. And he goes, oh, well, you know, I've been practicing really hard. And I said, well, you have been practicing hard, but maybe just for not long enough. And the example I came up with was a toaster, funny enough, in terms of giving him some practical advice in terms of how to improve his trading. And a toaster seems a funny thing to talk about, uh, but it was so, so true. Because when I get up in the morning, um, I switch on the kettle, I go off and do a few things, read some emails, uh, check my messages, see what's been going on overnight and stuff like that. And it dawned on me that I always return to the toaster just as the toast is about to go pop. And that's a learned experience. Now, I've never timed when the toaster is going to pop the toast up. Never. You know, I haven't sat there and analysed the toaster market or the toaster popping up market. Um, I haven't done anything that would... I have never built a toaster. I've never made bread. <laughs> well, I, maybe I did a few years ago. I don't now. My daughter makes bread. She loves cooking. But the fact is that I, I don't know anything about the dynamics of toaster popping. And yet I still can turn up every time just as the toast is about to pop. And you find that in the market when you're trading. When you gain practical experience of trading and you're in the markets often enough, what you tend to find is the same patterns repeat. You look at this and you think, I've been here before, I've seen this, I know what's going to happen next. And then you act upon it. And it's no different really to waking up in the morning and arriving at the toaster just as the toast pops. And I could do any number of tasks, but there's something in my head that just goes, you know what, Peter, that toast is about to pop. You better get back there and pick it up so you can smear some butter or marmite over it and enjoy the smell of that melting into the, uh, into the bread. Um, so yeah, whatever task I'm doing, I always seem to arrive back at the toaster at exactly the right moment. And I've learned it's the same with trading and other tasks. You don't know specifically there's no instinct, uh, or, or I say there is, it is, it's all instinct. There's no method or process that is allowing you to make that decision. But if you do something regularly enough and you get enough practice into it, it just happens automatically. So when I'm in the market, it's like I'm almost seeing the future. It's, it's, uh, people often say to me, well, you know, it's, it's just amazing because you're calling several of these trades right consistently. How are you doing it? Well, there is a method and process behind it. Uh, because you can explain it, but the actual process of doing it and making decisions, that split second moment when you sort of go, is this right? Well, this is happening, that's happening. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's that, yep, I'm going to do that, which is the toaster popping up. Um, so, and that's where the two correlate. You know, I can explain in great detail why something is about to happen, what's going to happen, when, and ha what effect that's going to have. But ultimately that pressing of the button, I think is the learned process is the is the toaster poppy bit and um and so I, I sort of gave this an example to this chap and i said to him look you know you've got this right you've got that right you saw this you saw that you described that and this was going to happen and it did happen you just arrived at the toaster at the wrong moment and sure enough sooner or later as long as you get enough practice in and you watch enough of these markets like this you're going to turn up exactly at the moment when the toaster pops um, but for a little period in the run-up to that you may turn up a little bit late or a little bit early, but nonetheless, you will get some toast in the morning. If you're interested in learning more about Betangel, visit betangel.com and download a free trial today.